good morning students this is your teacher neela mehlawat and will today continue with the components of the elementary canal a very small portion of this topic is left so this is your lecture number 3 <coughs> so far we have talked about uh, you can say we have uh, i've given you two topics so far we have completed two lectures this is our third lecture so those who are joining us today please make sure that you complete the first two lectures also right so today we am i'm giving you very little bit of the, uh, that chapter only a small bit of this chapter is left so let's continue with the uh, components of the elementary canal this is the histology of the human gut see we have talked about the elementary canal the elementary canal starts with your mouth and ends with the anus okay so if we take a section of the elementary canal it looks like this that we have shown in the diagram see there are they, you can see a pink layer outside this pink layer is made up of is, is named as serosa okay it is the uh, outermost fibrous layer and it is named as serosa then there is two layers inner to this okay the two layers inner to this that is one is made up of inner cellular longitudinal masses that is why it is called muscularis it may basically contain smooth masses so first is serosa the outermost layer is serosa the second is muscularis layer the third one is submucosa now the submucosa layer is made up of loose connective tissue and there are certain blood vessels and lymph vessels also present in this layer then the last fourth layer is mucosa it is the innermost layer and it is made up of secretory and absorptive cells okay it is made up of the secretory and absorptive cells if you remember our elementary canal uh, basically has two main importance uh, important part that is a small intestine and large intestine and these two they are mainly involved involved in the absorption process right so that is why the innermost layer basically contains the secretory and absorptive cells so in totality we can say there are four elementary canal or the gut is surrounded by four layer of cells there are four layers the outermost is serosa muscularis submucosa and the mucosa and in center there is the lumen through which the food will be passing or flowing from one part to the another let's come to the small uh, you say the stomach this is the shape of the stomach if you remember there are certain special structures in the stomach can you see the, these special structures there are certain folds in the inner surface of the stomach jo mucosa layer hai stomach mein abhi humne baat ki thi ki char layers hai to mucosa layer kaun se wali hai jo sabse andar hai the internal layer this internal layer is made up of certain folds in the stomach okay this is an additional feature which is there in the stomach that the mucosal layer has certain folds which are called rugae right these are very important one so the additional feature that the stomach has is presence of rugae presence of folds next comes the villi the singular form of this is villus so this is a structure of a villi you can see uh, it is extensively supplied with blood isn't it the blood vessels you can easily see it is sub supplied with blood vessels so this villi is nothing but there are finger like projections in the small intestine there are finger like projections in the small intestine and the special feature of these villi is that they help in the absorption of food they help in absorption of food right and secondly because they are they, these are the folds this increases the surface area of absorption okay it increases the surface area to main ek bar fir se dobara aapke liye repeat kar deti hu villi jo hain ye folds hote hain small intestine mein okay these are the folds in the mucosa layer mucosa layer jo hai hamari innermost layer hoti hai villi small intestine aur large intestine mein wo folds hain जो म्यूकोसल लेयर में होते हैं और इनको हम विलाय कहते हैं वॉट इज द यूसेज ऑफ दिस विलाय सबसे पहले इट हेल्प इन दब्जॉर्बन ऑफ फूड सेकेंडली क्योंकि ये फोल्ड हैं दिस इंक्रीजेज द सर्फेस एरिया 
and the third most important it is richly supplied with blood so third most important is it contains rich supply of blood it is richly supplied okay so first is it helps in the absorption second it increases the surface area for the absorption of food and thirdly it is richly supplied with blood since it is richly supplied with blood it helps it helps in speeding up the absorption process to jaldi jaldi ye khana jo hai blood mein pour kar sakte hain villi jo hai iska approximate size jo hai 0.5 to 1 mm long hota hai okay and sometimes the uh, or you can say most of the time the villi contains microvilli also and thus further increases the surface area okay dear students villi in turn may also have microvilli okay now coming to your homework today first of all you will complete this topic in your notebook beautifully you will draw all the diagrams from the ncert or from the lecture itself then you will read the page numbers 259 and 60 and i am again reminding you students this is my third lecture okay this is third lecture and we are continuing with the chapter 16 we have started with chapter 16 and we are we are continuing the chapter 16 itself today we have taken a very small bit of this since many of you are joining today so i'll be sending you the pdf of chapter 16 because it might be possible since uh, it might be possible but because of corona you are because you are staying at home so you may it might be possible you may not have the books so that is why i'm sending you the pdf of chapter 16 so that you can easily complete your homework please subscribe the channel so that you can get the daily notification of my lectures right students and please try to complete the two lectures that we have already done complete your work and then click a photo and send to my personal number again i am requesting my personal number is 9813361295 so you send your work to me those who have opted for the biology okay dear students stay safe stay home and enjoy your studies goodbye everyone